All right, so I'm uh, basically doing some recon out here. I'm gonna look to see if there's any fishable spots out this way. Got a tournament coming up here pretty soon. Actually in like two days. Ah. Uh, so, uh, see if there's anything I know further downstream or back upstream actually there's gonna be some fishable spots but I wanted to come check out this area because I usually don't come down this far and this looks like a fishable spot right here actually so wow I might have to fish this way during the tournament this looks pretty good over here I know the other direction it's overgrown pretty bad this looks pretty clear What do we got there chasing me? Some good looking sunfish, no bass. I just spotted a decent bass actually, which is really weird because it's super shallow right here. Oh, oh, he swiped at it. He went after it, but I missed him. Okay. All right, I'm just bringing in too many leaves. I need to cut this off and put something else on. Well, right now is the perfect time to try out my new fluke baits from Runkle. Rungill Shad. These things look great. And they're unique. Don't see too many flukes with the open tail like that. The fork is wider than most flukes. And it's even got their brand name on the molded into it, so. I'm just going to weightless Texas rig this instead of, uh, I don't have the proper uh, weights and stuff to use on it. No jig head's big enough. And should really be using a belly weight on it, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to go with Texas rig. Runkle also makes these with a flat flapper tail, paddle tail. which I would actually like those better. They'll have more movement on them than this one would. But this one should work pretty well too, so. There's water running in from somewhere up there. It's coming out right there. Oh, there we go. Had two bass at it right now, following it. One of them swiped at it, but he didn't get it, didn't take it. Okay. If these bass are e as easy to find as they are right now during the tournament, then I think it'll we'll do all right. Oh, there's something big right there. All right. So I've had two bites already. And I've seen three, three or four bass. So that's that's promising because I've only been here for maybe a total of like five minutes already. Uh, behind me, it's kind of cut off with a bunch of debris and stuff, so I can't really go back that way without getting out of here and going around. So I'm going to go downstream and check the area. Okay. Okay. Got him. That's the bass. It's not a very big one, but oh, he slipped off right there. Come on. That sucked. He slipped off right at the bank. <sighs> anyway, but that was not as big as the one that I saw, so there's got to be another one over there somewhere. 
But I mean, I've gotten that's the third actual bass bite that I've gotten already. So it's looking pretty good so far. Oh man, the plane crash. This spot looks pretty good actually. Oh, I missed him. I had one. But I was on top of some leaves, so I didn't feel the bite until I started to move it. Okay. Oh, how did I miss that, dude? <sighs> Plenty of bites. But I've missed every hook set so far, and the one hook set I've gotten slipped off at the end. Oh, I got one. There's a fish. <laughs> Finally. But once again, I didn't know he was on until I started to retrieve it. But this one just couldn't get away. There we go. Nice little largemouth. That might, that'll at least get you on the board for a tournament. So I finally landed one. I had two, two that I was actually able to set the hook on. And this one's got a stupid leaf on it, pulling it different directions. That was pretty cool. Fought like he was a lot bigger than he was, but it's all right, really, with, the way fishing is in San Antonio and these tournaments that I do that are it's a major crunch for time we've only had people hit limits a couple of times so uh, when you're fishing against the clock it really changes the dynamics of how you would fish so uh, people don't catch big ones very often so a lot of the times something like what I just caught right there could win you a couple hundred dollars All right, so it is tournament day again, and uh, this time we're doing it at, this is a kind of a tricky park. There's not a lot of bank access, but there's plenty of trails. You can go pretty far, get to some better spots. So uh, should work out. I'm just not really sure how many people we're gonna have showing up. I mean, it is Thanksgiving week, so more people might have the day off than, than usual, uh, but it is a Monday, so. Wait and see. But there you go. Looks pretty good out there. And uh, I'm not sure if I've ever explained it how these tournaments really work, but basically everybody shows up at a meeting point at wh whatever park or wherever it is we're doing it. And after the, you know, everybody gets signed in, pays the entry fee, all the money goes directly back into the prizes, depending on how many people show up. That's, you know, it dictates how many prizes we have. I usually try to go for like the top three places to get cash prizes, but sometimes you don't get that many people showing up, so we only do one prize. And that's all the cash, the entry fees to cash goes right into the winner. So, and uh, uh, it's catch and release bank fishing tournaments. So what I do is uh, every time somebody signs up and they pay the fee, I give them a card with something on it that's different for every tournament that's not always the same one. That way they can't use it again or try to cheat or something. So uh, I make those cards, hand them out to everybody, and when you catch a fish, you take a picture of the fish on your tape measure, ruler, your hog trough, whatever you have, as clearly as possible so we can get a good length. Um, measurement on it in the picture and you put that card in the picture with it so we know it was caught at that tournament during that tournament so and then at the end of the day everybody meets back in that original spot and they you know basically uh, 
we go by five fish limits just like other tournaments like if you catch more than five we use your five biggest fish uh, but with the way fishing is in San Antonio it's pretty tough we don't usually get people that catch that many fish uh, a lot of the times the winner only catches two or three so uh, it's it, it's very tough fishing this tournament series that I've created but it it really brings out your skill sets especially since it's such a short time period that you've got to got to catch these fish in you get three hours and uh, your whole mindset and everything just totally changes when you're fishing against a clock so yeah anyway uh, I'm just kind of scouting it out yet right now I got here pretty early nobody else is here yet and uh, I'm gonna see if there's any accessible points down over here that I would like to get to at some point during the day uh, my game plan for the day is to go all the way down the end of the trail well not the, the trails don't actually end so all the way down uh, it's probably gonna be three quarters of a mile a mile away from here and then work my way back and uh, hopefully make it back by, by the time you know so and I was gonna fish this area but it smells like sewage so I think I'm gonna skip over this spot can't really get down there anyway so yeah anyway let's get back there and start getting people signed in I actually do recognize this spot from the last time we did a tournament here it's all overgrown so it's isolated I, I need to fish this spot when I come back for sure oh yeah yeah this is gonna be the money spot right here I can already tell this is this is where I need to fish <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about this and now I'm already changing up my game plan I was planning on going all the way to down, down to the end but I think I'm gonna start here and then jump down to the end and work my way back I'm gonna leave myself a little sign here telling me where the entrance to that little secret hidden spot is I'm just gonna look for that stick so I know where to go it's not cheating <laughs> all right we're getting started now and very small turnout today but it's not the smallest we've had so it's all right only gonna have one one winner today I have a, 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 a smaller the tree. yeah yes. you got one yes. oh dude that's a nice one too bastard I've been throwing there all day yes. too yes. Finally caught one in the tournament. Right. and that's a good one I know. that that could be a winner right there so. I guess dinner's on you tonight <laughs> I need to call Greg. We can't we can't let Drew win. <laughs> Get your tape measure. Yeah. Make sure to clear the leaves off the tail and everything too. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank and I was throwing in that same spot for a while too. 13? Yeah. Not a keeper, doesn't count. <laughs> I'm making a new roll, they have to be keepers. <laughs> well, I'm the one that gets to make up the rules. Damn it, we should have just left when I said <laughs> you had to come over here and fish my spot. Having a hard time getting that picture, huh? Yeah. I'm thankful the fish is kind of staying. Yeah. Still alive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's sticking around, going right back where he was.
Oh man, I never noticed that sticker on the back of his truck. 210 fishing. He's disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> I got three. I missed two Knew it. big f***ing bass. Uh, big f***ing bass. That way in the shallow dude. Damn it. I knew it too. So I should have gone that way. Why are they so f***ing hard to hook here? I don't it's know. It's ridiculous. Like if you put any tension on the line, they still immediately... That's what I've been saying for the last three days. Yeah. So you can see them. It doesn't yeah. even matter though because anytime I do these tournaments, if I go this way, like somebody told me that way, like it's always gonna yeah. be that way. Like, but I, I had a feeling I should should have gone that way, but I I followed you. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, all the leaves going downstream were a pain yeah. in the ass. Oh yeah. yeah. Down that way, man, it got like really clear over there. But it was yeah. so dark, like the water. Yeah. It looked like coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh let me get that paper. Real quick. <coughs> we were joking around about that too on the way over here. Yeah. This one, you're gonna have to be patient with me because my phone's dying, so I gotta keep opening it up. <laughs> okay. This one's That's... at nine. Right there. Okay. He's just over nine, but he just you count him nine. Well, that and already knocks Drew out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, After and then the second one, yeah. <laughs> this one is at I think this one's thirteen and a, uh twelve and a half. Well, right here? Yeah, I know. As sexual as I was telling him, I was like, this is my first time catching a fish. In no, I gotta fucking so close it out and open it back <laughs> up. <laughs> it's just because I dropped it too many times. Yeah. And then yeah. this one should be 12 here, and a like, quarter. Always, like, you know, like, you, no, this one might be the same one. Here we go. Yeah, yeah this one is 12 and one quarter. Yeah. 12 and a fourth right there. But at least I know next time if I come here. I'm out. Well, so far it looks like this you got the big fish of the day. You gotta see yourself. Oh. <laughs> that was it, right? Three? Yeah, just the three. We got, I guess Mike took off. Did you see Mike Guzman? I didn't see anybody down this way. He, he was driving a pickup park over there, but I guess he took off. There's a few spots down there that look like straight up, they have like trenches uh, in areas. Get a zoom in. So it'll be like yeah. two feet of water. And, and then, then it just, just drops. All the way in there. There's spots over there where right off the bank, it drops to like eight, nine, ten feet. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, and like one of those trenches is where I, I felt the huge bite. And then I You're at 13 ripped, there, but I, I was looking I over here, man. Oh, yeah, so maybe I'm at big old tail just turn around and swim 12 and a half. 12. I was so pissed, dude. Huh? I'm still pumped I caught a fish in a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> You were Jerry, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Dude, well, I've Jerry. been, I've, uh, I've been Jerry, like right? three or four yeah. of these yeah. I never catch. I'm always like, I was, like, the I week before skunked. that tournament, I was all confident. I caught all these bass that day in just a few hours, and then yeah. it rained. And, <laughs> and it just ruined it. Nothing, dude. <laughs> yeah. Nothing? Yeah, I just donated this one. Damn it, Ethan. He was going to take me out to dinner if he won. Oh, yeah? <laughs> See? Okay, well, Mike's truck is gone, so I'm gonna assume he took off. <laughs> so, one of the big bass I missed on the little, uh, uh, the little the finesse jig, and then I caught the rest on a worm. So the last big bass I lost on a dam. I, I should have just brought the Angler of the Year prize today. That's all good. Thank you. <laughs> Cause but that yeah. puts you, that gives you like 500 yeah. something points. Thanks, bro. I appreciate Dude, it. Dude, congrats, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Good catch, good catch. Thanks, bro. See y'all next one. Hey, man, thank you very much. This win and next win. Next month, awful shit. Yeah, well, next month, I'll just bring, I'll bring the uh, Angler of the Year prize. Oh, yeah. When's the next so. tournament? Uh, we don't have it set up yet, but it's going to be on the yeah, south way, side. Now we are this way. Okay. It's at uh, Conception oh, Park. Conception. Yeah. I'll go opposite of you. In yeah, it'll be there. So. I'm doing that next time. Be a horde of zombies behind you. 